Hey there, I've got an unboxing today and it's a surprise one, a surprise to me. <laughs> I uh, just got back uh, my uh, the last mark for my term and I, uh, got, I got a 90. So I had a couple hiccups uh, and a couple, ex a couple things last term, or well, actually a couple terms back when I was gone to Morocco. So my average range now at about, uh, for the course, at about 80, 86 or so. So it's not too bad. It's kind of like, I don't think I'm going to come out, what do you call it, in my sweater. Uh, I'm kind of like proud of it, that, and uh, all things good, inshallah, I will uh, hopefully graduate with honors. So my better half surprised me with a gift today for uh, doing well in my classes. And uh, I was extremely surprised. Uh, this one I thought I might get around birthday time, but... Uh, get an extra one for uh for doing good was was really cool so uh here we go guys it's dark man the uh collector's edition screen factory and uh, if you have not seen this i cannot uh express to you what amazing art is on this cover liam neeson actually looks like liam neeson dark man looks great Francis mcdormand oh, man larry drake so let us open this one up check it out now dark man does have a lot of features it is a collector's edition and they have been doing the thing of getting it whenever possible all the vintage features and uh, adding having those, those along with new features as well included in dark man is a new interview with francis mcdormand of course who went on to be fa become famous for the movie fargo uh she's a regular of the coen brothers uh, audio commentary with uh, director of photography Bill Pope. Uh, that will be just fine. An actor interview with actor Larry Drake. Durant's Men interviews with actors Dan Bell and Danny Hicks. Dark Man's Design interviews with production designer Randy Sear and art director Phil DeGort. The Face of Revenge an interview with special makeup creator Tony Gardner. Original storyboards, theatrical trailers, TV spots, vintage electronic press kit, vintage cast and crew profiles. Sam Raimi, Liam Neeson, Francis McDormand, and Larry Drake. So, features on it are incredible. This is the uh, one. I don't know if I want to change the art over. Let's see. And this is the uh, disc on the inside. And, of course, this will be the art for uh, Dark Man, the original art that everybody's used to seeing. So, what I'm going to do now is I am going to just put my disc down here. And even though I like this art better, I have the slip cover to showcase this art, so I'll switch the art around too, so that I can showcase both the... Uh, if you notice, look at the pictures on here, on this one here, because when I show you the back of the other one, you're going to notice that not only does the front change, the pictures on the back change as well, which is actually pretty cool. To make sure they're doing it. Yeah, they're doing it. Perfect. You always have, so I wouldn't see them changing that now. That it's a little bit of extra effort that they put into it that really uh, makes it worthwhile for uh, when you're collecting the Scream Factory stuff. Like it's not just a cover with uh, the back looking exactly the same, although it'll have the same information on the back because it is the same film. It will have different pictures. We'll have a different tag picture on the back as well. And uh, that's a little bit of extra effort that Scream Factory puts into their releases that I really highly appreciate. So here you go. This is the original uh, poster for the movie Darkman. Darkman was the film that got me into, uh, into, uh, into art school. I was uh, into journalism. And uh, I was doodling while I was uh, doing an article up on... Uh, on a cult, and uh, one of my roommate was a, uh, a was kind of like he was a graphic design type of guy. He was going anyway. He was going to art. He was going to art school, and the uh, teacher showed up to basically say, you know, you've missed a few days type thing, and to give him like that, you know, that pep talk to get him back in school. And when he did, I was drawing another picture. I drawn a couple pictures of uh, of Darkman actually. Liam Neeson is Darkman, and uh, he looked at it and he. Uh, 
kind of uh, recruited me into the uh, into the arts program, and uh, then I uh, that semester I, I I finished off what I was going to do with journalism, I become disenchanted, and uh, I went home and I did a uh, did a portfolio, and I've uh, been you know, a lot of different drawings like dark stuff in my emo time and all that stuff, and uh, sent it in and I uh, went back and uh, as an as an artist to uh, to learn art school, but you know it was, wasn't for me. I uh, did not want to be the starring artist. A little bit of background, <clears throat> but uh, Dark Man is an amazing film. Uh, this is pretty much Sam Raimi's re resume for uh, the Spider-Man films he would later do. And it's like, when you think of it, people think of like uh, superhero movies. And they like think the genesis of being like, uh, you know, oh, you know, Batman, and it was just true. But like, they think things like The Dark Knight and all that, the making of the dark superhero movie. But this dark superhero movie had started years before. And uh, visually stunning. And in 1990, Dark Man came out. I was I saw this in the theater, and uh, it was highly influential on me when I was a uh, when I was a college student. Highly influential on me. So uh, I am so excited to uh, add my 30th Screen Factory title to my uh, to my collection. Which gives me, puts me at, let's see. Excuse me for a moment. So that's 30 titled in it. I think so. So that's uh, 30 screen titles releases with 39 uh, movies all together. I mean, you know, dub features and stuff like that. Just check them out. So uh, if you haven't checked out Darkman yet, <laughs> I've heard nothing but rave reviews for their uh, Darkman release. And I am so looking forward to like checking this out again. I haven't seen Darkman for a while. I've never seen this on Blu-ray. Uh, it's great to have the collector's edition. I did not know that there. Uh, I'm not sure if there was a Blu-ray release of Dark Man before this, but I know that uh, I'm going to go now. And uh, aside from my usual tagline, <laughs> I'm going to watch the hell out of the features on this immediately. So it's uh, time for uh, Dark Man. Nt.